Hello everybody, welcome back to a very impressive Farnborough Air Show. This is Embraer Live TV. Now I'm standing in front of our stunning shark liveried Embraer E190 E2 E-Jet, which I have not yet been lucky enough to get on, but a certain Jerry has. Check this out. So we are on board the aircraft and we are cruising right now. Of course, one of the most important aspects of any passenger experience is, of course, the comfort, the ride. And right now, we're going to have a little sit down and uh, see how we feel in the comfort stakes. Immediately, one of the first things you notice is the legroom that you get on board the aircraft. Really good legroom to move from. I'm quite a tall guy and it really is comfortable. It's a comfortable seat. And of course, we just have a two-two configuration. There's just one single aisle and no third seat. That's something that's very important and one of the things that customers regularly pick up on. And of course, the other thing as well is stowage. And one of these bins right here, you can see how big the bin is. Uh, something very important for passengers these days. They've got a 29, 30 and a 31 inch capacity. So um, all round the best experience a passenger could have flying one of these aircraft. There's much space to it. The seats are much more uh, slimline and then you have more overhead space. Uh, for the passenger experience it's truly a very, very different experience. Our first impressions are you've done a very nice job in, in reconfiguring the interior on this airplane. Uh, from separating the passenger service units so one doesn't have to reach over. Uh, the window frames are a bit bigger. The window appears to be larger in the inside and gives you more light in the cabin, the, the cabin lighting, the, the bins. And the seats are very, very comfortable. Even at the 29-inch pitch aisle that we're in right now, there's uh, plenty of legroom and it's, of course, no middle seat is a, is a key selling feature for this airplane. These engines were actually developed for the aircraft. That's correct. Yes, we had a different brand on the uh, current e jets and Pratt & Whitney is the engine on this plane. And there's a, uh, a similar or the same engine is on the 190 and on the 195. With the new Pratt & Whitney engines, the power delivery is much smoother as well? Uh, yes, it is. And, and that's also very interesting because if you see, the engines are completely different. But when I look to this page, it's the same as the one that you have on the E1. So it's unbelievable what our engineers, what they did to keep the commonality and to keep the cockpit friendly for the pilots. 